close your eyes and find your breath. Allow the breath to be comfortable, because you want to stay here well. You want to stay here comfortably. Otherwise, the mind is going to go running off. When it goes running off, what does that see? Well, it sees its own thoughts. It sees its own issues, but not clearly. To see them clearly, you have to see how they arise. And to see how they arise, you have to be able to step back from them a bit, because otherwise you're in them. And you see them from the inside, but you don't see them from the outside. You get sucked into them. It's like a, the audience in a play. They have to create the illusion that people are actually doing things on the stage, actually feeling real emotions, actually doing, having real events in their lives. So they don't want to see you when after the. They don't want you to see. Say after the curtain falls, when the the actor who's died on stage gets up and walks off, destroys the illusion. But it's when you're backstage, that's when you can see things clearly, what's actually going on. And so when we're meditating, we're getting backstage. And when you're backstage, you get disenchanted with the whole thing. You see that it's just a game, a lot of times, of things the mind makes up for itself and then gets itself all worked up, many times over nothing. Making mountains out of molehills, and sometimes making mountains when there are no molehills. So you want to stay anchored here in the present moment so that when a thought bubble comes up, you don't go riding off with it. You stay right here and see the bubble go away, and then it's going to pop after a while. That helps pull you out of your tendency to give a lot of reality to these things. So it takes some time to step back from your thoughts and see them as a process rather than as a reality. That way they lose a lot of their power.